Okay, welcome to Linux Music. We're putting up a series of really short videos demonstrating that any reasonably intelligent and marginally curious person can uh, use pro quality audio tools in a Linux environment and it doesn't cost you a dime. As always, if the software on your PC doesn't match what's shown in the video, the version you're using is the first thing to check. Uh, here's what I'm using in the video. Okay, this time we're looking at hydrogen again, and uh, we're going to look at sounds in the various drum libraries and how you can uh, even add uh, your own sounds to this. It's uh, it's cool, it's fun, and uh, I think you'll like it. Okay, let's get started. This is uh, the second uh, session with hydrogen. Uh, this is going to be a really fun time. Uh, mostly we're going to be working over here uh, and here. Uh, I click the sound library tab. These are the drum kits that came installed when I uh, put in the software. These are user drum kits, uh, things that we've downloaded since then or created uh, down here below, songs and patterns that we've saved, but we're not, we're not too interested in that uh, this week. If I want more drums, as if there weren't uh, enough kits here, I can go to import library. It'll go up to the hydrogen site, see what all's out there. Here's some new. I could install the death metal drum set or uh, the trash kit, anything like that. Uh, if I hit download and install, next thing you know, you'll see it right down here in dr user drum kits. Uh, I've created one, or let me show you. If I open this, it shows you all the uh, drums that are in any particular drum kit. And I pre-made one. It's called Slim because there aren't many drums in it. Uh, and this is my Slim drum kit. Notice I just right-clicked on Slim and uh, said load. And now I've got these. So we'll put these in here. Put some sounds in there. And... Uh, Okay, let's uh, we'll put a sound effect in. Okay, so that's how you basically load, set up uh, drum kits. Uh, now we're going to add an instrument. I'll come down here. It's called New Instrument. I'll come over here to the Instrument tab. And I'm going to call it Scream. Uh, and now is where I go hook uh, some sound to uh, this new instrument I've created called S Scream. I'm going to load, a, I hit layers, I'm going to load a layer. And here, any uh, wave file or FLAC file will work in here. And we'll go and get one that we happen to have called Scream. What a coincidence. Uh, and <coughs> sounds like a scream. Um, so... Yep, and so we'll come down here to pattern two, and maybe I'll just put in a scream there. So we'll make a little song. Okay. As you've already learned, uh, we're going to now go to song mode. Okay, just a little fun. Uh, we can do... Something else, and this is this is a little trickier. I'm going to take my bass. Uh, let me come up to pattern one, and I'm going to put in some uh, bass notes here. What I want to show you is this right now is in drum mode. If I go up here and click piano, I'll kick it into piano mode, and this is a MIDI, uh, what we generally think of as a MIDI piano roll, and it actually lets us choose different tones. Uh, for instance,
and you can see you can hit different notes so uh, I can now if we play now let's give the bass a little more juice notice I'm on bass So not only can I load uh, sound effects and things in here, I can have instruments and actually pick the tones that they play. Uh, so yeah, I can even do that with Scream. I can have my Scream here. Okay, so... Uh, let's let's go over everything real quick. That's that's basically all there is to this with the tones. Uh, I mean, it, the possibilities are endless. But here are the drum kits, uh, instruments import to get more drum kits. Uh, you load them by right clicking, hit load. Uh, here is a is a particular drum kit we loaded. We've added instruments. If I wanted to right now, I can go and uh, save this library. Slim, and I'll just call it Slim, and that will now save it with uh, the Sim Basin Scream. So if I go load it again, notice I still have my Sim Basin Scream. Kick back to drum mode, patterns like you've seen, uh, piano roll mode. Uh, so there you go. You can uh, let, let's just let's just add another instrument just for kicks. We'll add. Uh, I come over here, and we'll call this the cello, and we'll load a cello tone. Uh, we'll go to layers. We're going to load a layer. We'll find a cello that we just coincidentally happen to have. And for cello, I almost always want to bring up the piano roll. Screams aren't really getting that, are they? Let's uh, clear the screams off of there. Okay. Uh, so that's all there is to it. I, I just wanted you to think of the possibilities. Let's say you are a, a young parent or uh, a grandparent such as myself with five-year-old boys at home. Think of what you could do with fart and belch sounds. You could have a whole drum kit of fart and belches and keep those kids amused for hours. Uh, so... This is a fun tool. Like we said last time, we went over how to set up how many beats. This time was how to get all kinds of sounds in there. Uh, virtually any sound you can have a wave for. You could have uh, a whole measure of uh, some chord pattern in here. As long as you can get it in a wave, uh, you can load it in. And uh, uh, yes, there's gain, and you can add effects to it and all kinds of things. Uh, oh, I probably ought to show you. There is a mixer. And you can add different effects and plugins to this thing. Uh, but you've seen uh, enough to keep you busy for, for hours and hours. So we'll end this here. And uh, I, hope, I hope this is uh, going to be as much fun for you and yours as it has been for mine. Okay. All these sites have manuals, helpful links, videos, various means to get help. And I've always found the Linux audio community to be very gracious and very helpful. Check out these sites, get involved, be interested, and have yourself a little fun. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.